This up is gonna be a little short, but next week we'll have something nicer and a little bit fresher for the eyes. So this is just um, finishing off minor things about the Cinderella ball gown and then realizing what changes need to be made. Welcome to an update. All right, so after um, about four hours and watching Hamilton for the second time, the skirt is mostly completed. I got excited. So it required about 28 more yards of tool for three more layers, but now it's all full and we'll see um, if I need to add some more in between. I really don't think so. It's very full. It's about um, 70 layers of tool and a little bit of netting. And so what I'm going to do now is since it's um, pretty uneven, via layers and since I really want the gradient effect to be shown I'm gonna go ahead and trim it to make it look nice and full and ball gowny and then we'll see what we have to do from there after that Cinderella will be almost done so pinning up a couple layers and then I just fluff it out and then just kind of trim where I think it looks best and that's basically all I'm gonna do to make this some um, look more like my vision, for lack of better terms. You get to see all the layers kind of bunched up at once so I can sew the bodice to the skirt. So this is fun. The skirt's very heavy where it keeps falling off the table. And so now I have to throw it like on top of the machine for now, but we'll figure this out. To adjust this, I'm gonna just go ahead and make this two piece. So I'm gonna seam rip the kind of hour ish worth of work of putting this all together. It just fits better, and I don't like how the waistline kind of got lost. So just kind of like that, there will be two pieces instead of one. And it'll also help solve the back a little bit better. I'll probably have to get um, different cording, but. I mean, each component looks pretty. The petticoat is nice and full. The bodice looks nice. So I'm not gonna fret, it's just together. They need some work. So before we move on to the next part, this petticoat, if you roll it all up nice and tight, makes about that big of thickness, which is doable. And Hopefully by next week we'll start working on the mate costume so you can see how I got a plan to roll all this up to fit. But right now, Cinderella has more work to do for the rest of next week. I have to take off bodice, go ahead and fix what lacing I'm gonna pick because it's a little bit too thick for the eyelids because they keep getting pulled out. And then just um Minor details here and there, like make this waistline more pronounced, adding something to the sleeves. Because you see, my sleeves are a little bit loose, but I actually like the off shoulder look a little bit more for this version. So, win win for me. But the 
bug outs turning out to be a lot more work than I thought, but that's generally how projects go. And I want this to look as nice as possible, so. So, got the costume off. And I'm gonna probably do those edits later. Just because um, when you're working on the same garment over and over and over, especially like repetitive things at this point, that's where like boredom and errors happen. So next week I'm going to start working on the peasant costume just because I have enough information for the main gown to um, make it. So at least next week we can start drafting. Working on the peasant bodice will give us a break from our blue ball gown and a break from glitter. That top layer of tulle is pretty, but glitter goes everywhere. And we already know that this glitter is gonna be passed down to my children at this point. The glitter is everywhere. It is in my machine, it is on my clothes, it is on my face when I wake up in the morning. It's just a part of my life now, so there's that. So we'll move on to the next part. I'm a little bit excited for this and the trim that I have, so. Goodbye, blue ball gown for now. See you guys next week with some updates for the present gown.